Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Yes, sir. Hey, I've dealt with you in the past, I, I think, on uh, some parts for a Horton, it's like a Series 8000 operator slide gate. I got a couple of them at Robbins Air Force Base. Mm, yes. So we bought some parts from y'all in the past. Um, I know I talked to someone there. I don't know if it was you before. I, I just don't have any notes written down. But what I'm needing, the it's a metal gate that's attached to this operator, and it slides on that channel. And there's some, I guess, uh. I don't know, wheels or something or bearings up there in the very top. Let that thing slide back. And I think I asked him a picture one time. Um, okay, well, you could have. I, I don't recall. Um, but I can I can look. Let's take a look. Caught me at the water cooler. So here we are. I'm sitting down at my desk. That's fine. The berry. Yeah, I know I've bought different things from you. The circuit boards. I bought a motor from y'all before. Um... Yeah. So this is like the roller up in that top groove that slides back and forth, you know, the gate, whatever you had attached to it would slide back and forth. I need to get some new rollers or bearings, whatever you want to call it, for that top of the channel. Yeah. When do you think you may have sent me those pictures? Mm. 2019, probably, maybe? Three, probably two or three years ago. All right. So, oh yeah, yeah, I remember this this uh dastardly devil. Yeah, that exterior gate uh looks like it's uh spangled steel or whatever. Um and yep. you need some hangers for that. Yeah, I remember talking to you about that. What did we ever do? And I do I I think I've got a you know, I've got a core here. It's been sitting behind my desk all this time just just, just so that you know, I got a box here with your name on it. It's six feet from where I sit. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Uh, well, I mean, I don't, I can't remember what, why I didn't order that before, but they done got so bad now, I've got, I've got to do something. You know, that motor, it, I mean, to me, it looks like it can't handle a whole lot of torque, so you got to have it where it'll slide back and forth easily. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's the issue I'm getting into. I'm getting where it's kind of getting real tough to open and close and putting up too much of a bind on that motor. Yeah, so I do see the motor that was done in the middle of 2019 for that, and I do see pictures that you sent, but it, it comes back to where we were. I, I've got a you know, it's unlikely I'm going to have a hanger for that. That's just going to be the exact match. And the reason I say that is when I look at the white track that's there, you know, it doesn't match anything that I've got. And Horton doesn't make these parts. Um, that was that's kit bashed. You know, that's that's custom built by someone doing that. Um, so without seeing the actual hanger, I, I, there's nothing that will really enlighten me as to, I mean, I see the, I see the inside of there, you know, that kind of stuff, the nut that's holding something on. Um, but, but bolts, just, which I think probably in, is, I know it's not probably not easy to see because I was having to take the picture through that channel, but yeah. <clears throat> it's these little mound like things that bolt, and you can see that they bolt into the gate. So they got like four bolts, I guess, on the corners, 
and then it comes up to a like a lot of little teepee or something so it comes up to the top and that's where it screws in to that sliding mechanism and it's made to where it's got a hex nut on it so if you need to raise the gate up or lower it down to get more tension so that you can turn it um it's got the bearings of wheel roll up there that, that thing attaches to make it where it slides easy you know through that channel as you opening and closing the gate um the the only recommendation that i could make um just you know to give you some sort of comfort or answer is that i can send you a catalog to a company who makes tracks and hangers um to sell you just hangers runs the risk of it simply not working in that track. That track looks like it's got a flat bottom to it. Um, and, you know, there could be something here, and these guys make, you know, we've got stuff intended for an exterior application. Um, it's the only recommendation I have. Yeah, I wish I could. If I had one that was totally down, say I could take maybe take it apart and take one of the hangers and send it to you, but... Only I've got I've got three of these slide gates and they're all being used right now still, so I I can't really take a part off of them. Yeah, understanding oh. that. What um even if, I had, even if I had to modify this thing to work with some new hangers, I mean that's I know what you're saying, you don't have anything that channel, you don't have anything it looks like it would work with that. Well, I'm gonna send you a catalog and I'm I'm confident that you could buy a track and hangers and probably rework this. Um, but I wouldn't buy the hangers without having that track there in case it doesn't, it doesn't work in your track. Okay. And, um, yeah, so there'll, there'll be two emails that come your way. I'll send a so second. The, the, the track is, that you're talking about, that's that whole top assembly? Yeah, that white piece. Um, well, the, the fascia is the white piece, but then the track that those hangers roll in. You know, I would I would have one of those when you disassemble the everything. White you, piece, I don't know. I, I'm not looking at the same pictures because I, I, I didn't look at my email when I sent it to you, but there's a white piece that, just a plastic that just holds the wiring back um but i don't think there's no white piece the track's not white it's metal it's like aluminum yeah i've sent you back the pictures that you've sent there are there's the white fascia um and then there's there's something that there's something white there that yeah, i let me, let me, yeah let me let me look at it real quick when i get the email and um let's see here All right, there's your uh, – I'm opening one of them now. Let's see here. Yeah, I had a little uh, drawing I sent. I forgot about that. Let's see. Um, yeah, there's the gate. So which picture are you looking at with the white thing on it? You there? It's got thirty. It's got thirty-two in the parentheses at the end of the file name. Okay, I'll open that one up. All right. So, which part are you saying is white? Well, the part that's in the center. Okay, the track, the where yeah. the gates riding. Okay. That's, I mean, it looks white. It ain't white. It's aluminum color. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, that's uh, yeah. So that's where those rollers. I mean, it's almost like there's, and I can't see up in there. I'd have to pull that gate all the way off to see it. But it's almost like there's two rollers on each side where that stud would screw up in between, you know, to hold the weight of that gate. And then that would roll back and forth as you slide that gate. I mean, that's that's what makes it easy to slide is those rollers. Yeah. So. Hmm. All right, so you going to send me the catalog or whatever? Yeah, yeah it was a second second email I sent. I may have to, I don't know. I mean, I may just have to take one of these out of service and slide it out and maybe take take them pieces out and send them to y'all and see if you could match it up with something. What I would, my approach would be this. I would get an idea of the width and the height of the track. And then I would, from that catalog, select a track, and we'll select hangers and send you all of that. And you can try to swap out the hangers, and if not, just trade out the track. Just put in a new track and new hangers and put, you know, two or four hangers into into backstock. Um, would, well, that wouldn't help on your existing, but... Um, well, say that track's made into that whole top, top piece that's got... Uh all that motorized stuff in there, the operator and all. I don't know if that track, I'll have to go look at it again. I don't know if that track can be taken out by itself. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Um, That's going to be a hassle. I mean, they're be, well, looking at replacing these, but it might be another year or two, you know, and I've, we got them up under a service contract, so we're required to fix them, you know. Yeah. Um, that track had to go in there. It, it, it's obvious it, it had to have been screwed in. And the problem that you've got is the track will have to come, based on what I can see, the track would have to come down because those hangers are going to roll in from the end. So the just seeing what I'm seeing tells me that whatever has to be done for, for you to get lay hands on that track naked um, is what will have to be done because hangers are fed in through the ends. Oh, yeah, I realize that. I knew the end caps have to come off, and then the whole gate will just slide off through that channel. Right, right, right. And then and, and 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 then the assembly, the little rollers with the mounts, they're mounted actually to the top of the gate itself. And they just roll and slide into that channel. The problem is all them little wheels or bearings that then come off and it's all like metal on metal up there. Yeah. Yeah, send me. Uh, you said you already sent it to me. I did. Okay. Yeah, send me what you got, and I'll go back out there and look at that. And maybe I may end up having to talk to you again, and I can get some measurements or something. But um, what part of Florida are y'all in? Southwest. I'm in, uh, I'm in Naples. Okay. Okay. Um. All right, yeah, I just got to try to, even if I just had to retrofit something to get it to where, basically, I just got to get the weight of that gate off to where it's sl- sliding on something smooth that'll, op- you know, open and close with not a whole lot of torque, you know. Yeah. So. Frankly, what I would try first, and you've probably already tried it, is I would probably try to get to those hangers and then hit them with white lithium grease. 
it could just be. That's what. Well, that's that's the only thing that's been keeping me going is when I uh-huh. go out here and work on them. I put some grease up there, or I always spray WD-40 up in there, and I get it where it'll roll back and forth. But, of course, eventually that gets where it's getting tight. It's You can tell it was supposed to be some rollers or something up in there. Yeah. Yeah, WD-40 is, um, is, is, is not what anyone would recommend be used because it, it collects dust and it dries the material out. Um, so white lithium is good because it stays – it's viscosity and it doesn't attract dust and water's not going to wash it off, you know, too bad. So, you know, WD-40 is easy because you can get in there and it works, but it's life is, it's got a, that, that, that graph really yeah, falls off. Yeah, right. it does last very long. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate your help. Well, check out the catalog and let me know if I was going to just spit oh, I will. I'll be I'll be getting back with you. I mean, I got I've got to do something, or we we got to replace it. You know. Yeah. Do they make? I mean, I'll, I know probably Boone eat them, and maybe Alvarados. There's probably different manufacturers that make a newer slide gate for people that's got push carts and stuff. Um, if I'm not aware of them, um. We we I deal in rep- you deal in what uh, parts only parts complete systems are outside of our scope uh, we're not prevented to work okay. on complete yeah I think these things were originally created for like windows or something what they like some kind of a sliding window or yeah it's, it, my guess is that it would be some creative engineering that went on there you know at the end of the day the hanger and the track is that's the easy part. Um, so there may not be a skew that someone can give you. Didn't I, didn't I send you a schematic of that thing, and it had all the part numbers? Cause it no, shows, I don't recall that. It kind of shows. I will, hang on a second. I'm, I'm sending it to you right now. So this, I so I. It might have the top channel where you can see it. So let me, uh, I'm going to reply to your email, and I'll attach this picture. Because um, that's what I'm looking at. I just found it on my computer. The, uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's a PDF file. It's a, it says Horton Series 8000 parts, but it actually kind of shows that track assembly. And it's got part numbers for those things, too. For the hangers? Not for the hangers, oh, okay. but for, like, the track. Yeah. The track that all this stuff's mounted in. No, it never did have any parts list for the hangers themselves. So as soon as you get it, I want to ask you a question after you open it up. Yeah, I'm looking at it. So what about, if you look up there at the top left, there's a part that's C443-1. It actually looks like that thing actually rides up in that channel. If I'm looking at it, right? Oh, I'm going to say that's just uh, just an end cap. Okay. Yeah. And I don't think any that of that part the, the the part where it shows right up underneath it the C four four nine that's about where that channel resides, you know that that gate slides back and forth on. Yeah, yeah, where that screw is. That's where that track is sitting. 
Yeah, it, it would be my guess that none of that that fascia is used there. If you if yours is plastic, um, all that material would be extruded aluminum. That's there. Yeah, I, every, I don't have plastic. Mine's aluminum. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they uh, probably used all that and then just you know came up with a track and hangers, um, like any other slider what that you'd have. So what about that piece down there at the very bottom left-hand corner, C2074? I don't know. That could be what I would call a snubber. That could fit into the very end of a track. That's a guess, but that's what I would think that it is. It looks like it's a snubber just to keep the wheel, the hanger from bashing into the you know, the door from hitting the outside cased opening or whatever is there, or to keep the door from falling out. So it looks like the main channel, the main housing of that thing is that C265 at the very top. Mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, are them parts like that still available? I don't know for sure, but I would think they are. It's weird it, that they don't show. I don't know. Maybe it's because that's part of the gate. It don't show the channel that something, the window, gate, whatever you decided, the load that you decided to put on this. It's got to slide in that track. Um, mm, yeah, I think I think Horton would supply everything to slide the door, but the door panels and the method of hanging in this application wouldn't necessarily be on this bill of materials. Um, okay, maybe they, maybe you're right about that. Yeah, because these people, they just made the driver and uh, mounted the housing and all that stuff. So the way that you attach something to it would have been someone else's design. Yeah, yeah, literally would have been kit bashed. You know, just take a piece from here and take a piece from here. Well, I mean, if I had to, I mean, could do y'all do any, I mean... I don't know. I mean, maybe y'all don't do any. I may have to just get somebody to come look at it and see what we could manufacture that would, all I have to do is be able to screw it into the top of that gate to where it would ride up in that channel smoothly, you know. Yeah. If I just have one of these, I wouldn't worry about it, but I got three of them that I'm trying to maintain. Yeah. I, you know. I, I think it does come back to, you know, select a track that's got the right width and height and then pick up hangers for it, two hangers per door, and, you know, go there with the expectation to have to keep removing stuff until you get to the track. All right. Well, I appreciate your help. All right, sir. So you're going to dig deeper, and I'm going to stand by. Okay. You're right. And... uh you said you sent me the booklet or whatever on hangers. I did send that catalog, yeah. What I'll so I'm do not Okay, what I'll do is I'll send you a link to the page because that attachment was um eighteen gig, so that could be the problem. Yeah, because I didn't ever get it. I did get the pictures you sent me back, but uh yeah, so I just sent you a link to my website, and from there you'll be able to see a couple of product catalogs that are there. Okay. All right, well, thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Pictures. So this there's one that's called a Henderson 28-4N. Um, that's about like what I got. I mean, I would have to, I don't know what the dimensions of this thing are, you know, the width. 
Yeah, and you know, it's possible it that, that you do. And, and and they make that one in stainless. So um, here's the ticket. If you search 284N in my website, there will be four items that come up. One of the four has a video, and you'll see me blabbing on about it, showing the thing and tossing some dimensions on it as well. Uh, okay, so it'll have the dimensions. I, I don't have any sort of um, – oh, you know what? Yeah, when you pull up that item, there is a document called Wiring Diagram. Um, click on that, and it'll show you the dimensional properties. Well, it shows – okay, so if I scroll down, it yeah, so it does. It's got – if you scroll down, it's got dimensions A, B, C, and D. And then up there it tells you the – because the one I'm actually looking at is the stainless steel one. So it's a 284N forward slash SS stainless steel hanger. Yeah. But that that would mount – if as long as the width is right, that would mount. Even if it don't mount in the same holes, I can mount it on the top of that gate and let that ride up in that channel. And it's got them same – nuts on it to where you can adjust the height, you know, uh, of it. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I'm, I'm reasonably optimistic that this, you know, allows you to, to get there. Um, frankly, like I would. The wheels eventually just over time disintegrated because I found little rubber plastic pieces up in that channel when I stuck my hand up in there. So there's some stuff that's broke apart. Yeah. I would be suspect to the 284 being a long-term solution um, only because it's, it's, it's not meant for the type of volume that I imagine you get plus the weight um, and the torque that's being applied. Um, so I would, you know, if, if it rolls nice in the ha in the track, you know, you've got a solution, but it wouldn't be what I would specify to begin with. I'd look for hangers that were rated for 300 pound doors or heavier, um, you know, that kind of thing. But knowing the height of that track is going to be crucial because you can't go back in with stuff that's going to cause you a problem with the overall height of your door. Um, mm -hmm. It's worth a try. You can get the hangers, but you'll note that they're only rated for a hundred pound. Um, you know, that's a two eighty four you see in residential applications. You know what it would be called heavy duty bypass or pocket. Um, so, yeah, I just I mean I'll look down through the list of stuff some more. I just. I only clicked on a few things and I saw that one and it's kind of got that same kind of mount that's already up there because you can see in that track where it's got that little uh, notched out place to where that thing slides in. You know, that's how the assembly ta attaches to the bracket. Yeah. Yeah, those are, right. they're, they're, they're not uncommon hangers. I just, I think in your heavy duty application, it, it might, it might just, if you're going to go in there, you might want to be prepared for, to, if you're going, if they're going to replace the stuff and you need to buy another year or two, yeah, I think you might be okay. Um, but my goodness, depending on how awful it is to get all of that, the operating material off the face of that to access the track, cause that will have to come. Um, you may not want to ever have to do well, that. Well, they don't have like constant traffic. It's just for handicapped people or if they got oh. a push cart. They they use a turnstile normally. Hmm. Um, this right. is mounted next to some tandem turnstiles. So if somebody's in a wheelchair or if a supplier comes in with a load of Coca Colas to put in a vending machine, they'd use the slide gate. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, that's, you know, that's encouraging that you don't have a lot of use on it likely to begin with. That could be a couple of dozen times a day right. at the most. That's right. All right, well, I appreciate your help. I'll be getting back in touch with you. All right, sir. Thanks for calling. All right, thanks. All right. Bye. Architectural. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.